Jamie, let's go back and, and give me uh, some history of how Incava got started and then how you kind of grew up with the organization as well. My mother, Jelly Borromeo, founded National Caba in 2000, and she worked her entire life, practically, to see the Asian business community uh, in the forefront of issues. Um, I think in a lot of the discourse, Asian Americans are left out because they're considered the model minority, and my mom was always fighting to make sure that people knew what the truth was. And the truth of the matter is that there are successful Asian business owners out there, but at the same time, there's a group of, of business owners as well who are not getting the access and opportunity that they deserve despite their hard work and effort. Um, so my mother did miss a lot of the PTA meetings. She missed a lot of the recital. She missed a lot of our childhood because she was working so hard for the community. Uh, once I got to an age where I understood what her work was, I started to really admire what she was doing and I started to take up um, the same passion that she had for helping the Asian business community out. And uh, when I graduated from college, unfortunately my mom was diagnosed with a terminal illness. And so National Kaaba no longer had a leader. And the board of directors had approached me and said, you know, do you think that you can do this? You've grown up knowing supplier diversity, understanding government contracting since you were a little girl. Do you think that you're ready to take on a national organization to lead the effort to put Asian Americans in the limelight with the issues that they that they need to be addressed on a national level. Jamie, you were talking about your continuing her legacy, and she has built in Kaaba from the you know from the very start. But I'm sure that you are going to take in Kaaba to a different level. Tell me about your vision for the organization. I think that I bring somewhat of a new energy to National Kaaba and the community as a whole. I think that there are a lot of great leaders and I've seen them pave the way for me to do this work. However, they're running on an old model and I think that we need to start finding the common ground. Instead of looking at all 30 ethnic, or we have over 30 ethnicities actually in the Asian community. Instead of looking at them as we have different food, we have a different culture, we have a different language, et cetera, et cetera, I'm trying to find that common ground. I'm trying to say, okay, well, what are the similarities? Asian Americans are not the only groups that are going through this. And I think that if we start to collaborate with more groups who have the same agenda that we do, we can eventually tackle all of the small business issues together. Before we go in and try and tackle this national agenda, we have to understand what's going on on the grassroots level. And that's where National Cobb has been completely different from other national Asian business organizations. We try to get to know the small business owner on a one-on-one -on -one personal basis. And one business owner at a time, we want to go out there and help them gain more access and opportunity to these contracts. We can't guarantee that they're going to get a contract. We can't guarantee that the corporation uh, will actually use them or the, or the government agency. But at least we were there to help mentor and to, to go on that journey with them.